Okay, so I want to talk about tape. So today, very briefly, I want to talk about tape. Um, so let's back up a second. Every piece of gear has something that it excels at, something that it's extremely good at that no other piece of gear can, can really do and achieve. Um, and tape, especially today because it's become kind of trendy, everyone's nostalgic. I think people are glorifying tape and you know imagining it's just going to warm up your mix and give you this warm kind of gooey 70s sound or 80s sound or whatever, but that's not exactly what tape does. Uh, not exactly. Um, so I just started experimenting with using tape machines, specifically this one behind me. It's the Akai 280D SS, uh, which is a quadraphonic four channel, four track, quarter inch tape machine. But Every time I would run an entire mix through it, it sounded kind of like. <laughs> squashed and dirty and noisy and maybe it's because it's not in great condition got it on craigslist for like 200 bucks um so that probably has something to do with it but i also do think that it's i'm misusing the tape machine but i just did something that really made me happy and i'm going to show you this is number one <laughs> Now, this is mix number two. Very subtle, but can you tell the difference? I can barely tell the difference. The difference is on mix number two, I took the kick drum and ran it through the tape machine. I put that on quarter inch tape, recorded it for two, two and a half minutes, recorded that back into my you know program um lined it up because the alignment was completely off because of all the you know the the way the tape sort of shifts timing um and in my opinion my takeaway is that the, the kick sounds a little bit gooier like not gooey it just sounds a little like what tape does is tape can take the hit it could take the blow you know what i'm saying so if you have like a kick or a bass or something powerful, um, especially in the lower and the mid, the mid frequencies, it's like a, it's like you, you know, it's like you, you're going for it, you know. And uh, tape can take it, and it can handle that blow. It just takes it. And it's like I got you. It's got a good center of gravity. Um, it doesn't clip. It doesn't distort. You can push and drive it, and it just grabs it. And that's what that warm feeling is. And so what I find is that when you do it and people don't even know you're doing it. So if you do it in a subtle way where you're not crunching all the transients and the highs um, or making it all warbly and distorted, if you're just really subtle with it and just do it on individual elements like a chord here or a kick drum or a bass note, um, it fits in the mix a lot better and it just kind of creates this feeling that feels a little bit more, um, you know what it is? It's it, create something that you can feel um but you can't put your finger on where it's coming from you know just for me in this new mix the kick is just better it sits in the mix better it's a little bit more natural sounding and it sounds a bit like you know it sounds like a cassette it sounds like an, a tape machine and i think there's something to that so that's my takeaway if you're going to use a tape machine in your setup even if it's a task and porta studio whatever it is Use it in a way that's a little bit more subtle and more musical so that people don't know you're using it. You know, I did for years. I tried to be like Heinbach and, you know, I got a Nagra and I'm trying to make tape loops and do all these things. And that's not what I do. You know, I got to do more subtle, quiet things. That's like more my style within the overall workflow that I already have. Thank you for listening. Thanks for hearing me out on this little rant. Um, I really love tape machines. I think they're super fun. It's fun to find reels and reel them up and do all these different things but it's also really important to use them in the right way thanks for tuning in and uh if you can find an old tape machine even if it's extremely dirty 
use it on one or two elements in your mix and see what happens. Thank you.